Hi, everyone. We're going to do a really quick, quick closing for the day, just five minutes, and then we're going to let everyone go. How's everyone feeling? Tired, awake, excited? Who's, who's tired? That's a good thing. That's, we achieved our goal then. That was our, that was our target. Um, that means we had a really good day. Who, who was excited by the talks today? Cool. Wow, even more people than tired people. That's really awesome. Um, well, listen, we just wanted to say thank you. I was personally really inspired by all the discussions I had today and all the workshops I attended. And um, it was a really wonderful summit. I hope you guys ag agree with us. And we're really happy to take feedback and suggestions on how we can make this um, even better for next year. I mean, this is your event. This is our event together. And we want to do everything we can to make it the best possible event. So if you have ideas for venues, dates, locations, or what we can do next year, please let us know. Um, we're, yeah, Heidelberg, <laughs> Heidelberg version two. OK, that's cool. Um, we'll take that into consideration. Um, I just want to end with a couple things. So I'll hand it over to my colleague, Rebecca. So she'll just talk a little bit about what's happening over the next few months in terms of community grants. And then Melanie will close us out with a little bit of a slideshow, some photos from the day. Rebecca. Ooh. Hey, um, so yeah, just a really quick reminder that we talked very briefly about the microgrants um, change in application approach um, that we're going to be doing this morning. Um, and I just wanted to reiterate it again because people who are hanging around for the next few days or people who are here from communities, um, this is the opportunity to get great ideas for community-led um, projects in OpenStreetMap put forward. And so I would really appreciate it if you're talking to anyone who could be an applicant to seed it in their mind. Um, historically, there have been some regions where we haven't done grants because we haven't been able to get an applicant, even when we've done outreach, um, like Middle East, North Africa. Um, and it's really the responsibility, I think, of all of us in the hot community to encourage people to that they can actually apply for a grant and get one. Um, so yeah, I would absolutely love to talk to anyone who might be interested in applying and also if people can kind of advocate and champion and seed the idea that, um, hey, there's things out there and, and people can apply, then that would be really amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, now not to take any more of your time, I'm gonna pass over to the wonderful Melanie. Great. Thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, I want to make it quick as well. Yeah, also, again, thank you from my side. Yeah, it was yeah great two days. It's kind of weird. I was standing here yesterday morning and welcoming everybody, and it feels like it, yeah, <laughs> it's all gone in a heartbeat. I'm quite relieved that everything went well, but also on the same time, <laughs> quite sad because it's already over. So it's gonna, I'm going to miss a lot of people. <laughs> it's gonna, and I didn't have to, that much time to talk to everybody. So I hope a couple of you are still here for the state of the map as well. And that we also have follow up discussions after this as well. But yeah, thank you again. It was, yeah, not, you made it really, really nice for us as well and very easy for us for the local team. That's that applause for you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's not all over yet. It's the closing session, but we have one more, yeah, kind of joint event tonight with the state of the map. Um, in the Marstall, that was also the kind of icebreaker venue that we had on Wednesday. So tonight, for everybody that is already here for the state of the map, and we got around 130 people that are actually attending both events. So. A lot of people coming together there tonight, I hope. It's really, really close to the event where we, uh, location from last night. So basically, same way, you can take the bus directly. Yeah, when you go this way again, just to the petrol station up the road, you find the bus again, 32, takes you to the Universitätsplatz, and then you just walk basically a little bit down towards the Neckar, and you will see this huge mud, or huge big <laughs> master building with the outside seating area. And I'm sure there are already a couple of state of the map and hot summit people around, around to, yeah. And we'll be waiting there. Yeah, same here by foot. 
Also, yeah, I made a lot of advertising yesterday morning already. Heidelberg is quite beautiful, which I hope you already have noticed the last couple of days. It's just, yeah, if you want to take a walk, just, yeah, we've been sitting around a lot as well. Just, yeah, also take the chance again. And, yeah, this is what it looks like. That's the Marstall, the inside on the left, the outside area on the uh, right outside area on the on the left hand side so yeah a lot of place for us to also mingle tonight and to hang out and yeah I don't have a whole slideshow prepared <laughs> but yeah you were all in this we took a group picture together so I just it well yeah it turned out really really well so I just wanted to share that before we leave this here a little oh. there we go Yay! <laughs> That's <laughs> Hey! Woo! <laughs> and we also got the picture here where you're all in. And I think that's also a really, really nice memory of these two days. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it with this. Otherwise, I get emotional. I know myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you very much for everything. Enjoy Heidelberg and enjoy the rest of the day in the state of the map as well.